his apartment for like about a year and a half and, and uh, when we when I was like looking through the apartment like when, when Sarah and I both moved to Vancouver we were like 19 years old and so I, I was living in shitholes for a long time and then and then I got it together and so I would I've moved I've lived in Vancouver 13 or eight years and I've moved 13 times and um, I went and I looked for an apartment once and um, it was raining outside and so I felt impatient and I got the first place that I saw and partly because she didn't do a credit check or anything, not that I had bad credit, but I just wanted to give my money and be done with it and um, I got your love. Okay, do you guys want to hear this story? Okay, this, one's, this is for the screaming people, we have to be quiet so we can hear it. Let me update, let me catch you up, okay? So, I got an apartment because it was raining and I just, I didn't want to have to go and look at other places. And this woman, she didn't do a credit check, she had a Bible and she put her hand, put the Bible down on the table and she put my money down on the Bible. And she said, you know, she said, you're only going to live in this apartment for a year and you're gonna pay your rent on time and, and you're not gonna move a bunch of people in, you're not gonna sublet out the kitchen or the bathroom or anything like that, right? She's like, nope. She's like, okay, the apartment's yours. I know, I was very excited. The problem was is that the, she had special rules and they wouldn't let you open the windows for more than 15 minutes at a time. And it was very hot in the apartment and it used to bum me out a lot. And one time I had a bag of potatoes and they went rotten and so there was this smell but I didn't know that it was potatoes. Anyway, you guys make me feel mental inside. Let me ask you a question, honestly. I want you to answer me honestly. Have you done meth or PCP tonight? No. Did you drink a Red Bull or one of those monster drinks? No. Are you just out of your mind because you think Tegan's hair cut super cute? It's like, hair, it's like back in the olden days when they would have those um, like when, when the people with the snakes, the snake charmers, except that when Tegan comes on stage, it's not, she's not a snake charmer, she's like a haircut charmer, and you're like, oh my god, I've never seen a more terrific okay. haircut. Alright, this is a serious story, but we can't, I can't tell serious stories tonight because I can't handle this. Between the feeding back microphone and the screeching, I'm, I'm just going to tell you this instead. Don't leave potatoes in the heat for too long because it smells so bad. And so the point of the story was that when I wrote this next song, it was after we had spent two nights sleeping somewhere else because our apartment reeked so bad that I had to leave it empty because I couldn't even go into it. And when I finally got into it, I wrote this, I wrote this song when I finally got back there because I finally had a moment to myself and um, it's got nothing to do with potatoes. 